welcome to SL Productions and the third part of my in-depth Doctor Who DVD collection series. It's technically my second part, but technically my third part, as I uploaded the third Doctor collection first. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, I've been a bit sidetracked, but now I should be uploading normally again. I won't make any firm promises, but hopefully I will upload more. So yes, we'll begin the collection with Power of the Daleks, the first story to star Patrick Troughton as the Doctor. An amazing story in my opinion, a great introduction to Patrick Troughton's Doctor, really like the animation of his story, glad they reanimated it and I really like it, really do like the power of the Daleks, a great start to Patrick Troughton's era as the Doctor, I would personally rate this story an 8 out of 10. Next up we do have the Underwater Menace, now the Underwater Menace I do like the story, I quite enjoy the story, I think it's quite underrated, however the telly snaps on episodes 1 and 4 are awful. I didn't even watch the whole of episode 4 on Telly Snaps. I just watched the reconstruction illegally on YouTube. Yes, I broke the law so I could actually watch the story properly. Technically, it's not law breaking if you watch like a pirated thing, only if you make one. But anyway, I did support someone online making the story illegally. But they did it for free, and the BBC paid someone to make the Telly Snaps. So, yes, I am glad they broke the law. I would rate the telly snap probably a 0 out of 10, the story itself probably a 7 out of 10, I quite enjoy it. Next up, we do have the Tomb of the Cybermen Special Edition, love Tomb of the Cybermen Special Edition, think it's a great story, oh and I've just noticed the DVDs are the wrong way around, they should go there, and they should go in there. I didn't notice that. So yes, I'll come back to Tomb Design in a minute. Next up, we do have the Moon Base. Great story in my opinion. Really do enjoy the Moon Base. Think it's a great Cyberman story. Really do enjoy the Moon Base. Patrick Troughton's Doctor is great in it. And yeah, I think it's a really good story set on the moon. And it's great. I'd personally rate the Moon Base an 8 out of 10. Next up for Macro Terror, the most recent addition to my Doctor Who DVD collection. And yeah, I did enjoy the Macro Terror when I watched it. The cover on this DVD isn't great, it looks like he's on drugs, Patrick Troughton. But other than that, I think it's a great story, really do enjoy the Macro Terror. And the Macro Terror is the reason why this part is third and set instead of second, as, as I was waiting for this story to be released on DVD before I did the collection. Really enjoyed the Macro Terror, I think it's a great story, not as good as Gridlock in my opinion, which I do think is the better Macro story, but yes, I did quite enjoy the Macro Terror and I'll personally rate it a 7 out of 10. Next up, we do have the Tomb of Cyberman Special Edition, great Cyberman story, really claustrophobic, really do like it, the first Patrick Troughton story I watched, and yes, I really did enjoy Tomb of Cybermen, and I would personally rate it a 9 out of 10. I think Tomb of Cybermen is an excellent Doctor Who story. I would rate it a 9 out of 10. Next up, we do have the Ice Warriors. Now, in my opinion, I don't really enjoy the Ice Warriors that much. Personally rate it about a 6 out of 10. I just don't really like this story for some reason. I do like some elements of this story. It does go on a bit too long, I think. I think 6 parts is a bit long. For the story, it has not much of a plot really, I don't think. But yeah, the Ice Warriors, the Ice Warriors are great in this story. But other than that, I think this story is a bit overrated and does drag a little. Next up, we do have the Enemy of the World. Previously, my favourite Doctor Who story of all time. However, when I rewatched it, it wasn't as good as the first time. It didn't even make my top ten Doctor Who stories of all time. But, Enemy of the World, really do enjoy this story, really do enjoy the helicopter chase and salamander. I think it's a really good concept and is executed well. However, it wasn't as good the second time. Like, some stories are better the second time. For example, The Time Warrior, the first time I watched it, I didn't like it. But the second time, I liked it better. This story, I didn't like as much the second time. So yeah, that's a bit weird. Still rating 8 out of 10, and I think it's a great story. Next up, we do have the Web of Fear. Really do enjoy the Web of Fear. They should do a special edition with episode 3 animated as the telly snaps aren't great, but a lot better than the Underwater Menace's telly snaps, as at least they have opening titles. In the Underwater Menace opening titles, they didn't even put the opening titles. They just used a still and put the music over it, which is 
lazy in my opinion. What is wrong with the BBC? What is wrong with them? They used to be good in 2008. So yes, the weather fear, great story in my opinion, and I really do enjoy the weather fear. I'd personally rate it a 9 out of 10. Next up, we do have the Mind Robber. Great story in my opinion, really do enjoy the Mind Robber. Episode 5 is the shortest episode of Doctor Who ever at just 18 minutes long. But this story does actually not drag a lot like a lot of Doctor Who stories. It is actually full, which I really enjoy. And I do think the Mind Robber is a great story and I would highly recommend it. It's very psychedelic in a way. And yeah, I really do love the Mind Robber. I would personally rate the Mind Robber an 8 out of 10. Next up, we do have the Dominators. Yeah, I don't like the Dominators. It's probably the weakest story from Patrick Troughton's era as the Doctor. Don't like the Dominators, really don't like it. I wouldn't recommend it. It's just weird. Just don't understand the plot, really. And it's a pretty rubbish story, in my opinion. The quarks in it are one-dimensional villains. And yet, yeah, the Dominators, I don't enjoy. And I'm going to dominate that story I'm gonna beat it up later so yes next up we do have the invasion great story in my opinion really do and love the invasion it's a masterpiece in my opinion the second story to feature the brigadier and unit really do enjoy the invasion great story great Zagran story great setting everything about the story is great maybe a little bit too long but other than that it's a great story in my opinion and i would rate it another 8 out of 10. next up we do have the crotons a forgettable dot two story in my opinion i don't really remember the plot of this story and yeah i didn't hate this story when i watched it it just wasn't amazing it didn't stand out so for that reason i'm rating it a 5 out of 10. next up we do have the Seeds of Death Special Edition, the penultimate DVD in my collection. Really do enjoy the Seeds of Death, think it's a great story. Really enjoy it, an underrated Doctor Who story. I mean, it's probably in my top 20 or even 10 Doctor Who stories of all time. I really do enjoy the Seeds of Death Special Edition. A great story in my opinion. Highly recommend it, my favourite Ice Warrior story from the whole of Doctor Who. Finally, we do have the War Games, Patrick Tratton's final story as the Doctor. A great story in my opinion, a great send off to the second Doctor, really do enjoy it and is probably one of my favourite Patrick Tratton stories as the Doctor and in the entirety of Doctor Who as a whole. That's how good this story is and I would highly recommend it, I rate it a 9 out of 10. And finally here on the end we do have the Enemy of the World Special Edition. Not a lot of changes, the picture is a bit better, it's just got a load of bonus features on which is quite good. So yes, that is the end of my Doctor Who DVD collection part 3, in depth, Patrick Troughton aka the Second Doctor. So yes, that is it and until the next time, goodbye. <laughs>